What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to share with you a review of the month of July. Uh, Westlake Village, Thousand Oaks, Moore Park, and Simi Valley are the targets. So let's check it out. Uh, your first screen, what you are looking at, this is the median sales price. So median sales prices in Westlake Village is $1,595,000. Uh, that is up 5.5%, Thousand Oaks at $1,075,000. That is up 19.8%. Simi Valley at $890,000. That is up 14.1%. And when I say up, I mean year over year. Um, Moore Park, we are at $974,000, and that is up 17.7%. All right, let's take a look at price per square foot. We got Westlake Village coming in at $686 a foot. That is up 13.2%. Thousand Oaks at $563 a square foot. That is up 4.1% for the year. Simi Valley at $488 is up 5.2%. And Moore Park at $449 a foot is up 1.1%. Those again, those were medians, medians. All right, let us take a look at... Uh, days on market, another very important statistic, days on market. How long does it take the typical home in these cities to get sold? This is a median, so it's above or below these numbers. Westlake Village is at 31 days. Thousand Oaks is at 26 days. Uh, Simi Valley is at uh, 26 days as well, and Moore Park is at 23 days. Now, uh, in Westlake Village, we are completely flat at a 0% increase or decrease in days on market. Thousand Oaks, however, and Simi Valley are both up for the year 36.8% as inventory has increased. Moore Park, on the other hand, is down 11.5% at their 23 days. All right, let's take a look now at percentage of last list price. This is what the homes sold for typically uh, at their percentage of last list price, above or below. These are medians. Westlake Village was at 98.5%, Thousand Oaks 100, Simi Valley 100, and Moore Park 100%. All right, and new listings. New listings in the month of July. <clears throat> Westlake Village got 57, that is up 14%. Thousand Oaks got 77, that is up 8.5%. Simi Valley at 102, that is down 20.3%, and Moore Park at 17 point, not down negative 17.9%. All right, and then the last one we're going to take a look at is shows to contract. How many showings did the average house need before it got into contract? Uh, this is the median, so it's either above or below this number. Westlake Village came in at 5.5 showings, which is down 71.1%. Um, we have Thousand Oaks, at which is flat, at two showings. Simi Valley at two showings, which is down 33.3%. And Moore Park was flat. All right, so let's take a quick look now at interest rates. We have the 30-year fix today coming in at 6.62%. We are seeing a little bit of relief and we got some good news from the Fed yesterday. So we could see an interest rate cut uh, next month in September from the Fed. That's what they're indicating. 15-year fix is at 6.15%. 30-year jumbo is at 6.8%. The seven and six SOFR arm is at 6.33%. The 30-year FHA is at 6.13%. And the 30-year VA is at 6.15%. All right, so that was my review of the month of July. I am very interested to hear your thoughts on where the market is heading. I'm also very interested to hear your plans for what you are going to do the remainder of 2024 in the world of real estate. So thank you so much for tuning in. I am Josh Brenner with Compass right here in Westlake Village. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I would love to talk to you. And remember to get some exercise, everybody. And if you like information about real estate, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye.